Hello everyone and welcome to the next educational series. In this one, we'll be playing Legionnaire and uh, yeah, as you guys are aware of, this is one of my favorite heroes. I play him pretty much all the time, probably played him like 15 games since I've been in Thailand and I've only been here for two weeks, so uh, yeah, one of my favorite heroes and I also happen to be quite good at the hero. So first of all, you start off with a hatchet and blights and I'm gonna explain really fast as to why uh, you don't want to buy, um, can help cut three? Yes, please. So the reason for doing this is that you, uh, you will send your, well, he is supposed to be over here and scouting. And if anyone walks in with any kind of wards or anything like that, you'll instantly buy rev wards with the gold. But as soon as you realize that, okay, they didn't block any camps, that's when you buy... Say hello to our, our fan. Huh? Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing with five, six, seven, eight right now. So uh, yeah, you're saving gold to make sure that um, uh, that you do have enough gold for counter wars. But if you're uh, if you're a uh, hundred percent sure that they didn't block any camps, then you simply just buy your block there. But I'm gonna wait until the thirty second mark, and then I'm instantly gonna send out my shield. As for the rotation, the rotation I will be making is the one that I, I showed uh, in the. Um, Happy birthday trick ticks, uh, tips and tricks video, unless Flag Rider will be using the pull. If he's going to be using the pull, then I won't be able to do it, and I'm then, then I will just have the free camps over here. But we'll see what he ultimately ends up doing. Alright, so in 10 seconds we'll find out if they blocked any camps. We have enough for our rev ward and an upgraded courier. Let's see. Okay, nothing. Then I'm gonna send out my buckler and I'm gonna send out a health pot. Perfect. And then I'm of course gonna be doing the regular stack both of these camps in the start, kill them both, and yeah. Uh, can you stack? Okay, okay. Stack both of them if you can. And since Plague Rider is nearby, I'm asking him to stack them for me. And if he can do that, that is obviously like insane. If he if he can stack both of them, and then I can stack them myself in one minute here, that's gonna be. A lot of freaking farming, a very, very early level 6. But we'll see if he uh, actually ended up uh, finishing, um, I mean, succeeding with the pull here. As always, you will be maxing out charge. Charge is simply the better way to do it, so yeah, max your charge. Standard. Uh, but we'll be picking up Taunt at level 4, of course, so we can help out nearby lanes. And it is a double lane top, so being able to help them out there is, of course, very strong. And we want to do that as early as possible. Don't use your hatchet here to try and kill this faster. You do want to kill it before 37, but don't use your hatchet to do so because you're going to need your hatchet to stack. Okay, he just warded. I'm not sure if he warded the pull or he warded up here. I didn't actually see. I didn't pay attention. That's pretty bad. I should have paid attention. Oh, oh he did it for me. Okay. Alright, so we actually got double triple stacks here. Now, even if uh, th these weren't stacked by my teammate, I would still be able to get level 6 by 4 minutes. As, as I showed you guys in my Tips and Tricks birthday video, um, I got level 6 by 3.30, and I can do it every single game, both on Legion and on Hellborn. I'm actually going to scale an extra level of my E here uh, to make sure. Up, knock, up, knock! Uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I skilled E. What the f- Oh, yeah, oh right. That, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. If I had Taunt here, he would die. Uh... Alright. It did end up working uh, working as planned, but you should you should always kill Taunt at level 4. That was actually a misplay by me. I was thinking that, oh well, there's so many stacks here, it would probably be smart of me to just pick up an extra level of E so I can kill them faster. But it could have ended up really, really bad top and we maybe wouldn't have gotten the kill. So that was a big misplay by me. Don't do that. Always kill Taunt at level 4. So Taunt level 4. Alright, keep that in mind. Sorry. Fucking up in my own educational. Easy peasy. You mean up knock? Ta talk talk. Talk talk teach me. Okay. Yep. Uh so yeah. 
Uh, we're gonna keep up to stacks here. We will get a little bit of a later level 6. Normally I would have level 6 right here, but considering that we decided to go for the uh, aid in the top lane and help them out, which is of course the right play every time. If you can help your teammates possibly stop them from dying or, well, do anything to help your teammates, really. That's obviously what you're going to be doing, so uh, don't don't value getting an early level 6 over helping out your team. Never, never do that. So, yeah, that's very important, but w even though we, we're going to get a little bit of a later level 6, we will still get it quite early, and we're going to start picking up our boots here. Now, we are playing against, uh, we aren't playing against one of the key heroes, and what I mean by that is that there are two boot choices. There are the Ghost Marchers, and there are the Striders, and the Striders obviously goes into post haste later. And now, you always want to get post haste slash Striders when you're, uh, when you're not going to be ganking and you can get a post haste later, or when you're playing against certain heroes, uh, such as Silhouette, Dr. Repulsor, Clanks, basically heroes that will be doing... Um, let's go. Basically heroes that will be split pushing a lot and uh, doing a lot of... Um, just like b b doing ganks and plays around Kiss the map. Against those heroes, you always pretty much want to pick up post haste. Yeah, I need one more hit. There we go. Alright, so we're uh, we're gonna be picking up. Uh, let's see here. Midas dump here occurs. We're gonna be picking up ghost marches here because we're gonna be playing very very active. And I like to have Ghost Marchers when I'm doing a lot of early plays because it allows me to, like I said, move around very efficiently. Oh shit, sorry, I misused the current. Um, it will allow me to do a lot of plays and uh, keep up with, uh, with, with the, the pace of the game. And after you Ghost Marchers, I will go straight towards the portal key. So there are two boot choices, as I said. There are Striders that you want to be picking up against the heroes I mentioned. Or if you're not going to be ganking anytime soon and the Ghost Marchers won't really do anything. Or... Uh, it's the Ghost Masters. Ghost Masters. So yeah, we have been able to get. Uh, we have been able to be involved with free kills, e even though we didn't skill taunt. But as you can see, like either of these ganks could have been screwed up because I didn't skill taunt. So once again, make sure skill taunt. It's really important, and it allows you to help out early even more. And it was simply just a mistake by me. Mistakes do happen. Sometimes you miss skill. I didn't miss skill. I actually wanted to do the extra level, as I said, because of. Uh, the stacks that I received, <laughs> but it's, it was, just wasn't worth it. Even though I had so many stacks, it still would have been better for me to skill the taunt. So I, it was actually a good thing that I made a mistake because it, it shows you guys even more that that's what happens when you skill when you don't skill taunt. Like you almost miss a couple of kills because you're greedy. So now we're gonna pick up the ghost marchers, then we're gonna immediately gank the bottom lane. We are gonna be very fast and should be able to get an easy kill on them here. Um, we're gonna have to make him bay our behemoth bait the. Um, Q from them here, probably. Cap. Otherwise, it might be hard. Actually, we're gonna go back to jungle. Uh, he warded here on that side. It's a real word. Okay. Okay, Cap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so we picked up a TP. Uh, normally, I would pick up a smoke by now as well, but uh, we're gonna be. Uh, ganking inside, so we're not gonna need a smoke. Now, it's important that we get used to these ghost marchers, otherwise striders would have been way better, so they also worded up here on the left side. I'm gonna buy two counters myself if no one counters out. Oh, come gank mid. Nope, oh, here. We killed them here, killed them here. Okay. Yet, 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 yet. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh. oh god, that's bad. Come, come, come. Right. Nice one. I actually miscalculated that. Uh. Mm. Uh, five second charge. I think you can go if you see him. Hmm. Yeah. Oh fuck, oh, nice. Alright, good shit, I'm gonna take the top rune here. Uh, bottom rune is a DD, I don't really need- Hey! Why you steal a rune? Hey. Why you steal a rune? <laughs> I need rune! <laughs> you bastardo! Alright, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be picking up the DD anyway. Um, not sure what the hell they're talking about there in, in the chat, but hey. 
All right, so picking up the DD, going to be farming a little bit aggressively now in their jungle. I want to apply as much pressure as I can because, once again, I am a Legionnaire. It's one of the easiest heroes in the game to gank with and kill with, for that matter. So we're just going to apply as much pressure as we can. And because we went Ghost Marchers, as I said, it's important that we also get make use out of the Ghost Marchers. We don't want them to be useless. We're actually going to pop the DD here. And, of course, we're going to be maxing Taunt now. I always skill two points of E because that extra point of E is actually really good. So... Uh, I do actually skill an extra point um, of E, but not early. I do it level, uh, what is it, level 8? Level 8, yeah. Level 8, I pick up an extra level of E. But not level 4. No, nope, it's coming. Alright, let's go. Yet, yet, yet. Hmm. Ultimate Warrior. Alright, so we're 500 off our blink now. We've been involved in 6 kills in 9 minutes. As you can see, I'm barely farming that much. Like, I'm just roaming around making sure that I apply pressure. That's what you want to do with Legionnaire. You don't need a blink to make plays. That's what people need to understand. That's also... I'm not only doing this uh, educational because I love Legionnaire. But, well, that's the biggest reason, of course. But I'm also doing uh, this educational because people in uh, Thai servers, especially, don't really know how to play Legionnaire properly. First of all, you guys buy Helm of the Black Legion. And... Believe me, as a really good Legionnaire player, and I've been playing this hero for a very long time, Helm of the Black Legion is not worth it any game. Like, don't pick that item up. Going boots into blink is way more efficient, and I would recommend that every... Can you walk up here? Oh, okay, I'll take haste first. Uh, ge oh. Getting boots into blink is oh. way better. It allows you to be extremely, like, aggressive early, get a lot of kills, be heavily involved, um in the game and then you can just go for other items later and the items that you guys usually see me do is of course the Insanitario Shrunken Head build Haste. I've been doing the Insanitario Shrunken Head for quite some time now it's very very efficient One second here. Eww. I'm fine holy shit that was close Alright, we're going to go back to base and pick up our Blink, then we're going to work towards our Incinatarius. And Shrunken Head is also a very good item this game, as you can see on the Legion's Hero, so we'll be, we'll be going a Shrunken Head this game for sure. Now, uh, after those two items, like, normally the game doesn't last a lot longer, because you're able to apply so much pressure and take over the game with the Incinatarius Shrunken uh, PK build. And, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how the game pans out. Go, yet, yet, yet. I got PK, okay. PK, PK. This one, this one, this one. <laughs> right, nice shit. Good shit, my friend. Good shit. Alright, so we're gonna keep on working towards the Incinatarius. I got TK. Terrace gives you ten. Like, a lot of people always ask me, like, why do you go Terrace? Like, wh why that item? Why not something else? And it's an amazing item on Legio. Like, b if you know how to use Terrace uh, properly with the toggle, it's incredibly, incredibly good. And, uh,. Also, it boosts your W, which works on base damage, 300% of your base damage. So, it, it, it boosts your W by such an insane margin that you can solo kill pretty much any hero in the game. I actually think if you get an Incinitarius before 20 minutes, you are going to solo kill any hero in the game. It's, it's just as simple as that. So, Incinitarius after the blink is very strong. Let's see if we can get him below. There we go. Gonna be sending out the Steam Staff here, the one that gives more damage. I don't really need the armor and health region from the Helm right now. So I'm gonna be uh, uh, from the, what's it called? Helm of the Victim, yeah. So I will just be picking up this. Let's see. One of your structures is under attack. Nothing there. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Remove the hatchet. We don't need that anymore. It's more important when you're stacking in the early game. That's really why you pick it up to make sure that you cut down all the trees necessary. And as you guys saw, I got a lot of questions in the Tips and Tricks birthday video on if you were able to do the thing with cutting down trees alone. And as you noticed, you're able to do so. You simply cut down the four trees here on the left side, or you ask your teammate to help you, because usually you'll have a, a, a hero with a hatchet 
So you cut down the four trees there, and then you cut down the four trees here, and then you can stack both of them yourself without any issues at all. Alright, so we're gonna try and search for a pick again. We don't want to go for Dampir right now, who is the only hero showing on the map. But we could possibly get a kill in mid lane, but we'll see here. Uh, we're 470 GPM, so we're doing very good in terms of farm. Just gonna keep it up and keep working towards the Insanitarius. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Illusion. Now I know that you guys uh, will, pro 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 some people will probably complain about the fact that I got a lot of uh, stacks early game from my teammate, but, and you won't every game, but as I explained, if you look at my tips and tricks birthday video, you can get level 6 by 3 minutes and 30 seconds every single game by simply doing these two camps first, then you walk over left, you stack both of these, you kill both of them, you walk yeah. over here, you stack both of these and you kill them, and then you're level 6 pretty much. That's as easy as it is. Stack, kill. Stack, kill, stack, kill, level 6. 3 minutes 30, every game. Easy as hell. The only time you'll run into a problem is if you get a lot of Catmen, then it's not as fun. Huh? They're triple? Okay, I'm kinda low HP though. Need help. Help me, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, farming up the triple ancients, which will pretty much finish my uh, uh, my instantaneous. Unless uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 gets all of them here. Alright, so he got quite a bit of them, so we're still a little bit uh, behind. We need 350 more gold in order to finish our instantaneous. And then we're gonna work towards our trunken head. Now, sometimes, uh, as you guys remember, uh, I told you guys about staff. Like in the start, of, in the start of the legionnaire when the, he was changed, I bought staff every now and then. And then I changed my build, and I didn't think staff was good anymore. And staff isn't the best item on legio. Sometimes you will actually lose the game because you decide to go a staff instead of like a demonic or something like that. But I do actually like staff. After Shrunken and Sanitarius, if you're playing a lot of heroes where, which you can chop heads off. Oh, let's go! I think I don't wanna get. I'm bad. Kakmak. Uh, so yeah, if you're playing against a double support lineup or just a lot of heroes that you can uh, chop the heads off, then go for it by all means. Champion of no But yeah, uh, you don't want to pick up your staff as your first item. You never want to go icon. You can pick up your staff if you have instant terrorists and shrunken, uh, and if you're actually able to use it properly. If there's heroes, you can chop the heads off, as I said. Stun, stun. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, so we're gonna finish our instant terrorists here and keep working towards the shrunken. I think I've said that a couple times now. <laughs> This is, once again, just to ma let you guys know, this is a high TMM game, I am playing 1900 uh, to 2k, the same thing. This account I'm queuing on is 1900. I obviously don't have 2k as I do on the EU, so I can't play higher than this, but I am queuing on my 1900 account here on the Garena servers. So it's not a low TMM game, for some reason people thought the Kinesis at Occasional was in a low TMM game, but it wasn't, I simply just wrecked him. Just like I'm doing right now. It's... So yeah, it is high TMM. Alright, so we got our Incinitarius, this is the time where we want to start, like like I said, we can fo solo kill anyone. And uh, obviously we have a little bit more damage because we have Ghost Marchers instead of uh, Post Haste. But this is the time where if you have Post Haste, you want to be starting to look for that Silhouette, look for that Doctor, look for that Clanks, look for the heroes that you want to be picking up Post Haste against. Alternatively, if you weren't able to have such high impact as I did in the start of this game, you want to be looking for kills with Ghost Marchers as well. Make sure you use the speed properly, don't use it to run around in the jungle. Use it, uh, yeah, properly to move around, get runes like I just did. Yeah. Uh, did he counter ward up here? Yes. Okay. I don't know, I'm placing a ward there. We'll place it here instead. Oh. oh fuck me. Help! 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 Goodbye. All 
I can actually go back in here. If I would have wanted to. Invisibility. Let's wait a little. Five seconds for another taunt. Four seconds. I'm just getting nice. stuck. All right, let's go back to base, pick up our first part for the Shuriken. Here, uh, there is another uh, another build as well. Sometimes you want to pick up a barbed armor. Like, if, if you don't have it, like, maybe their silhouette was able to get a lot of farm early and it's pretty much on the same GPM as you on 520 right now, then you could, at this stage, consider getting a barbed armor. If, like, because you're, you're like, your job in this game is making sure that you, sh you shut them down. Like, you shut down the... Um, they're a positive carry. You always pick up a good target in team fights. If you don't have a staff, you don't want to use your ulti to chop off a support's head. You want to use it on a carry or an important target. And uh, uh, that's why I'm saying that you could go barbed if th if the barb allows you to kill the Dampir, like their most uh, important hero, or the Drunken, or the Silhouette, or the Doctor. Then you can pick up a barb after PK uh, in Santarius. I did have 2.2k gold, so if I wanted a barb, I could have picked it up right there, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm going to be killing them with or without a barb. I don't need that extra little bit of damage from the barbed armor, which is why I decided not to go for it. Because when I get a shrunken against this lineup, they can honestly not do anything. I'm going to kill their carry, I'm going to kill another hero. Like I, I will simply just honestly wreck the shit out of them. They're like I get a shrunken, game is over, pretty much. Beware. No goodies for you. Hey, where did he go? No. Alright, All right, so let's finish my shrunken here. We are 600 gold off. Gonna continue working towards. The Shrunken, I think I've said that line 500 times now. Holy shit, I gotta shut up. Okay, so we got a DD and we got an Incinitarius. And we got Terrifying. Oh, really? They have a ward there? That sucks. Alright. We're uh, almost, we almost got it, then I'll be selling the. Alright, going over. Then I'll be selling the uh, Buckler and pick up the Shrunken. Ah. Alright, so 14 0, doing really good here. Gonna be picking up any mortal later in a second. They're probably gonna concede though. Alright, so that was it for this educational. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned a little bit about Legionnaire. My uh, my thought process, what items I buy, and stuff like that. We ended on 5 6 GPM and 14 0. So, once again, Shrunken here, head here would have been my next item, and after that, cons depending on the game, I could have. This is a possible staff game for the simple reason that they do have the double support, and chopping off a cursed head is really good. And if I can like get a double chop on Rhapsody and the cursed, it's quite decent. But if I wasn't going uh, towards that, I probably would have gone uh, a demonic here. I think. Because I do think the minus armor and the up armor will help a lot against Drunken, of course, and also increase the damage uh, that we will be making to the enemy team. So probably a Demonic would have been there, and, well, the game probably would have been over by then, so I can't really g give you guys... There are so many factors to when you pick up an item that it's hard to say at this stage what I would have done. It's easier during the game to tell you guys, this is the item I need to go, this is what's the best for the game, and etc. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.